I call this redemption. Well, good morning. Check it out. Got my get up on because today is the finals. I was in third after the first day. Slipped up a little bit yesterday. If you guys watched the uh, practice video, but especially day one and two, you saw the frustrations that I had. Crazy amount of fish. And look, everybody lost fish this tournament. I mean, it was just it's just the, what they're doing. It's the time of the year. They're just striking at baits a lot. It's really super frustrating, but nevertheless, I made it. And uh, not only myself, but... Oh, yeah. Let me show you who else made it. Bam! Right there. Mr. Andrew Upshaw is currently in fourth place. He's going to probably win the tournament. But you know what? You won one last year, dude. So it's my turn. It's what I'm getting at. Hey, do this. Do it. Grab, grab a cup of coffee. Gra Gra hey, grab, yeah. grab a cup of coffee and watch me put the beat down on Scott today. Today. Opportunity to punch a berth to the Bassmaster Classic for one of these 12 pros fishing on the final day. Fatties, baby. Another big one. Good God. No, big spot, big spot, big spot. Yep. 15 pounds and 12 ounces. Scott Martin to the top of the leaderboard. Also, plenty of uh, opportunity to gain elite series points. There's a lot of different goals out there. And also, we have 12 co-anglers. They're fishing for a three fish limit, and they have the opportunity to uh, gain yes. prize money. Also, win, win that top spot. 10 pounds, nine ounces inside the top 10 in the ninth place. Now we're here, a little drizzly. So with 100, almost 200 boats on the lake the last two days, really on including practice, like five days now, you got a real opportunity to jack a big bag up because all these places are not gonna see baits today. They're not gonna have boats running on them, troll motors hitting them. So the fish, they're going to still be a little weary because they're like, oh my gosh, you know, not again. Mm -hmm. But a lot of these places, these fish, they haven't been full with all day. So as the day goes on, they kind of forget about all the pressure they've had a little bit. And I think I can I can make moves and like fish fast, try to get a couple reaction strikes and then move on to the next one. Mm -hmm. Because if you can trigger those right off the bat, I mean, I think you can get 20 pounds. That's a blast off at seven with all the clouds, storm. Probably 715. But the wind's blowing, guys. It's an important thing. It's going to help everybody, though. But it is, uh, it is good. Man, it's a bad wreck on the bridge. Look at this, man. This is, this is not good. Somebody got a head-on collision there or something. On the, on the bridge. And one of the anglers is actually stuck in line. Hope they're going to be okay. I hope the people are getting a wreck are okay. Play Scott Martin. We know he's trying to qualify for the lead series, trying to make it to the classic for the first time ever, and all those goals still in front of him. And if you think about it, we're halfway through the Eastern Open schedule, two events under our belt after today, and uh, we're halfway through the whole schedule, four events out of the eight are done. A lot of points are starting to stack up in favor of some of these guys to make the elite and uh, an opportunity to pass. Okay. It's gonna be a wet one today, boys. All right, we're getting ready to get out of here. Oh my gosh, it was a giant, dude. Unbelievable. He missed it, dude. It was a gigantic fish. I don't know how he missed it, dude. There he is. Yep. Nah, he's not that big. He's just mad. He 
he's just mad. Yeah, probably, probably, I don't know. All right, guys, got one. I swear these fish are blind. I just had another. I just had another one. Just hit it. Just missed behind it. I had several this week. Followed all the way to the boat, swimming about six feet from the boat, but watching this kid. Got him. It's a good one too. I actually figured out something. If you throw away past them yeah. and work it up to them, yeah. don't get the, they'll chase it good. They don't get the same reaction. If you land right on them, they hit it, they realize it. it goes plunk in the water. They like that fluke, it hit the water, he grabbed it. That's, I, I, I looked at my thing and I said, they're 70 feet away. And I, I thought, I threw about where I thought 70 was. When it hit the water, I watched three of them come up and he hit it. Right. Thank you, Lord. Whoa, whoa. What in the world? Whoa, sorry. I don't know what it is. I think it's a striper. It's either a striper or a 10 pounder. Seven pound spot. Right. Well, probably gonna catch a few of these today. That's a big one, dude. That's a real big one. Spot. No, it's a large mouth, I think. Right. That's a good fish. Yeah. It's crazy looking. That's not see Yeah. Laying right there. That's a that's an interesting one. Look at his bug eyes. Yeah, he's got big old bug eyes. He is kind of crazy. He's three pounds better. Yeah, he's over three. Okay. Alright. We chipping away at it, boys. Just gotta keep mixing it up a little bit. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. God dang! So I've got a three and a two is five. So seven and a quarter. <laughs> that one. Fools, but they're little bitty jokers. Good job. All right, let's make a little move. I'm not throwing a drop shot unless you start, unless for some reason I have to. Let's see if he left a few. It's a big one. It's a real big one. God. That's so stressful. Okay. Got it. Got it. 
It's a good one. No, little one. Settle. Okay, pound and a half. That's a good one. That's a real good one, dude. Oh. Oh my gosh, good one. <clears throat> nice one. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, okay. I'm gonna hit a half a dozen more piles. And then we're gonna get out there on the main lake, dude, and just look for some singles on those points. With this wind blowing. That's why I caught my biggest one yesterday. Caught our be best one today. I'll throw in this main lake stuff, you know what I mean? That's a good one. That's a real good one, dude. It's a big one. <clears throat> that helps the cause. Right there. They hit that thing better than else. Yeah. I know. Isn't that cool? Yeah, yeah. It's a good fish. I I hate to say it, but I have not made a cast. I have not caught a fish or made a cast I didn't see. <laughs> I know. I was sitting here watching you. I don't know. I don't think so. But he just kind of plopped it. Yeah, he's not as big. I don't think he's going to help me. But I got two. Off the spot. That's crazy, huh? It's a big one. It's a big one. I think it's a big spot. I just got him hooked funny. Oh, I got him on the side. Oh, got him on the bow hook. Hoping a big one would come and eat it. Eat it with him. Get two of them. That's a big one, dude. That's a big one. No. I'm just tricking me. You're not gonna help me? I don't know. Maybe.
Probably not. No. No, he's not. Okay. All right, let's go. All right, so we're going to go. I'm going to switch over right now to, like, speed mode. We've got about 40 minutes to fishing. I hate to do it, but I think it's a little too deep. This is a little cane pile spot. I could throw the big spook. That might get a bigger bite. Oh my gosh. You whole bl blew it out of the water. How did he not get it? Oh my God, that was a good one. Dang it, that was a good one. That was a good one, dude. Dang it. You gotta be kidding me, dude. That that was a good fit. That was a good fit. I don't know if it was a four pound. I don't, I don't know what the size. It wasn't a two pounder. I'll just say that. God. You gotta be freaking kidding me. That was another decent fish, dude. Well, guys, we made it in. We made it in. Sorry I didn't pull this thing out very very much. I didn't pull out at all, actually. It was a fun day. Uh, a lot of fish caught. I'm sure everybody jacked them up. But nevertheless, it was a good uh, good event. Definitely not gonna win. I mean, unless crazy happens, but that's, you know. Although I was convinced I wasn't gonna make the cut yesterday, <laughs> we did, so you never know. Right? You just never know. Hopefully Andrew got him. I just saw him. He said he did okay. So I don't know what that means. Probably 15, 16. I would imagine. Put your hands together for Scott Martin. He was leading our Crock and Rods uh, Angler of the Year in the Eastern Series going into today. I need 16-2 to take the lead. He's got a nice bag of fish. He's going to move way up this leaderboard. 14 pounds and 2 ounces, second place right now. No bones about it. Trying to qualify for the 2021 Bassmaster Elite Series, our top four in the overall points as well as our top four in both the Eastern Division and the Central Division will qualify for the Elite Series next year. Thanks, Scott. All right, yeah, it's awesome. I tell you, it was awesome to see everybody here. Uh, this is a great lake, tons of fish in it. And uh, every day you kind of had to switch it up flukes and you had to kind of keep changing colors depending on what the weather conditions were. But yesterday hurt me, only had 10 pounds, had some nice ones come off, but still all in all a good week, really came here to get good points and try to make the elites at the end of the day that's what it's all about awesome great great job we always good to see you my friend we'll have you hand that mic Thank off you. there and uh take your fish back to our, our uh yamaha afco live release boat right. if you I don't do, mind. i do want to say hi to my wife and my kids yeah, absolutely. i know they're watching on Bass, bassmaster.com so love you honey we'll see you soon all right so uh 14 2. which i kind of thought i had a little more than that but whatever you know, I don't know. I hope I stay in the top five. It'd be kind of sweet. You know, every point is an important point. So it was good. Fun day on the water today, actually. A lot of fun. I actually want to go. I might go back fishing after this thing's over. Maybe we'll do like an after hours. Hopefully, Andrew jacked him up. See what he's got. Oklahoma, Andrew Upshaw. Oh, here we go. Getting interesting. I need 14 pounds and one ounce. Jamie has really put the pressure on. 11 pounds and 14 ounces. 40 pounds, four ounces. Ooh, just two pounds, three ounces out of taking that lead. Great, great week for you. Sitting in fourth place right now, Andrew. Uh, my wife and my son, first off, and uh, my in-laws all drove in about 13 hours from Tulsa to, uh, last night. They started last night, finished it up today. So, you know, thankful that they were able to be here. 
And, you know, I mean, without family support, it's really hard to do what we do. And, you know, I travel about eight months out of the year, basically. So, you know, it, having that little bit of extra time with them is irreplaceable. This week, though, because uh, I know that's what he's about to ask me. This week, I relied on one thing, one speaking thing only. Speak of the devil right there. I relied on one thing, one thing only, and that was my Garmin Live Scope. Uh, my Garmin Live Scope, if you don't have it, you know, I'm not a local here. I know Jamie pretty much dominates out here, and all these other guys wreck them. Uh, without that, I, I really have a bad tournament. So I was just looking for wolf pack fish out in 15 to 25 foot of water. I was throwing a KVD Sexy Dog, the new Hard Knock in a chrome color, and I uh, also caught him on a fluke and another little chrome bait. But overall, man, just an awesome experience. And we're getting ready for a little bit of a grind here towards the end of the year. Unexpected. This was actually, for those who don't know, this was actually going to wrap up our 2020 BassPro.com Bassmaster Open Series. How about that, guys? All right. Tournament is over. I finished fifth. So I moved up from 10th to fifth. And it was crazy tight. I don't know exactly what Patrick Walter, he won the tournament. Congratulations, Patrick. Uh, I mean, a few pounds, a couple pounds more than me, I think. So, I mean, it really boils down. And I'm sure every single person in the top 12 had a chance to win the tournament. I mean, that's just the way it is. Weights were super tight. But you know what I'm probably the most excited about? It's I beat Andrew. That's right, I beat you, Andrew, and you're buying me dinner tonight. You're buying me a big old gigantic steak with potatoes and vegetables and the biggest thing on the menu. That's right, Andrew. Yes, I beat Andrew, and I got more points, and I think I'm leading Angler of the Year. Actually, I am leading Angler of the Year, so that's even better. Actually, that's better than the steak, because I want to make the elites. If I can make the elites, then we can we can accomplish some things. So, thank you for hanging out. You saw the craziness, right, this week. If you didn't see the previous video, which is day one and two, go back and watch it right now, and you'll get to see day two, how I lost, like, a crazy amount of fish, and it ended up costing me. But... Today was fun. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. And uh, hey, we're going to drop some links for merch. Huge shout out to Yamaha. Huge shout out to Garmin Panoptics Live Scope. That's crazy. Huge shout out to uh, Favorite Fishing Rods, P Line, all my sponsors, right? So, guys, thank you again. We will see you. Bam!